Former President Trump's support appears to be growing in the Republican presidential primary. New CBS YouGov poll shows Trump has 61% support among Republicans. That's up 3% from April. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in second place, way behind, with 23%. No other candidate has more than 4%. With more on the Trump indictment and all things California politics, we are joined by John Phillips, of course, host of The John Phillips Show on KABC Radio. John, it's nice to have role reversal here because typically Alex and I are on your show. Thank you for being on ours tonight. Uh, why do you think that Trump's poll numbers are going up? Does this mean that Republican voters not only don't care but seem to be rewarding him? Republican voters don't see the Biden Department of Justice as being honest brokers. So because they laid out the case against Hillary Clinton and then essentially said, but it's up to the voters, so go right ahead and decide whether or not you think this offense is worth knocking her out of the presidential race. And then Donald Trump is accused of doing a similar thing, and they say, oh, no, we're going to bring up charges, and the charges are going to start right before the, the, the primary process or, or wherever we are right now. Uh, Republican voters see this as being patently unfair, and because of that, I think what it's going to do is it's going to cause the troops to rally around behind Donald Trump. And I think you're certainly seeing that reflected in both the national numbers and, and the numbers that we've seen here in California. Uh, since all of these charges, whether you're talking about what happened in New York uh, with Alvin Bragg, what's going on right now with the grand jury in Georgia, uh, in California, Ron DeSantis was leading not that long ago in a public poll here, uh, substantially. It wasn't a, a small lead, it was a, a, a good lead. And then the most recent poll, it showed former President Donald Trump way out ahead of Ron DeSantis. So I think you're going to see Republicans look at this as being a, a, not only an attack on Donald Trump, but an attack on them. You know, he years ago um, said that he could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and basically get away with it, is what Trump said. Um, is there anything that would turn people against him in terms of something that the Justice Department could come up with? Well, with Alvin Bragg as DA in New York, any of us could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue oh, and get away. So, um, you know, George Gascon, I think, would be the same. Um, but, but with with Donald Trump, I think what you, what you've seen is one of the the constants with Donald Trump is that he brings out the worst impulses in his political enemies. His political enemies regard him essentially as being a criminal. And because they regard him as being a criminal, one of the things that's associated with that is, well, he doesn't even deserve a fair trial. He doesn't deserve uh, the presumption of innocence. He doesn't deserve all the things that any other criminal defendant would be afforded. And because of that, they get reckless with their behavior. And when people get reckless with their behavior, like Alvin Bragg and, and the jury forewoman in Georgia and others, uh, the boomerang effect, I think, is in place, and, yeah. and that's what we've seen time and time again. All right. We mentioned uh, all things California politics. That brings us to our governor, Governor Gavin Newsom, who's on the air right now, presumably, with uh, Sean Hannity over on Fox News. You said today on your show that you were the least surprised human on earth uh, to hear that Newsom was going to Fox, with something he hasn't done uh, since 2010. But why Sean Hannity, who, who's a friend of Trump's? This has more to do with Joe Biden than anything else. Donald Trump went on CNN uh, with Caitlin Collins and did a town hall, which was very good for Donald Trump and very bad for the man that ran CNN. But anyway, it worked out for him. <laughs> and, and Joe Biden, under no circumstances, would ever do a town hall with Fox News or One America, or Newsmax, or talk radio, or any venue that is not seen as being friendly to him. What Gavin Newsom did by going on Fox News with Sean Hannity is he implicitly told Democratic voters, there's no way Joe Biden has the mental acuity to do this. Joe Biden would never sit down with Sean Hannity for an hour. Joe Biden doesn't have the capability of doing this. I do, and I'm going to do it and I'm going to show all of you that I'm capable of doing it. And he just has to do it and let that let Democratic voters marinate in those juices for a while. 
because he does not believe, I believe, that Joe Biden is fundamentally capable of being the Democratic nominee. I think Gavin Newsom is fully expecting Joe Biden to either drop out of the race if he's embarrassed by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. in one of the early primaries, has some sort of health scare, and Kamala Harris has pitiful poll numbers right now. I think Gavin Newsom is positioning himself to be the uh, break, class, break glass in case of an emergency candidate. Of course, Gavin Newsom says that he's 100 percent behind Joe Biden, that mm -hmm. he's totally mentally capable. He talks to him all the time and, sure. and he's not going to run against him. So that's what Newsom is saying. But John and I was born yesterday, yeah. so I believe that. <laughs> all right, John, great to hear from you. Always Thanks good to, to have, you, have John. your perspective. Uh, we appreciate it. And of course, listen to John Phillips show every day on KABC Radio.